Um, you know, speaking of things that could save the box office, the Phantom Thread, the new Paul Thomas Anderson movie, that's gonna it's gonna be Daniel Day Lewis's last movie. Could that save the box box office this year, Dave? Uh, no. Come no. on. No, what, 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 no chance. You can check the Phantom Thread trailer. It's got mm, three million views, maybe in about a week. Uh, not a whole lot of buzz, but not not that you'd expect it. You can look at other Paul Thomas Anderson movies. Most right. of them don't uh, blow the, the world away. They're not those kind of movies in terms of just generating tons of ticket sales. But as you said, it's the last uh, Daniel Day Lewis movie, according to DDL himself, is going to retire. He's a uh, the nice ripe age of sixty right now. And so my first thing for getting to the trailer and PTA, do you believe DDL that he is in fact going to retire? I think he'll take a long hiatus. I think he'll be back sometime in like five to ten years, somewhere in that range. What about you? Yeah, so I could I could see him coming back, but I right now I believe he 100 percent wants to retire. I mean, sure. This guy's made six movies since 1998. Like, and he's, he's are the, the most Oscar selective. Time. Yeah, I mean, he's the only only actor to win three best actors. Only one of three actors to have three acting academy awards in general but he's the only one that three best actors you know he's the goat for a reason mm -hmm. and you know he's already been so selective if he says he's gonna retire i you know i who am i to doubt him i mean he maybe he doesn't want to be i mean it's not even like he doesn't want to be method anymore he barely acts so you know i didn't i hope he comes back obviously he's not that old yet you know i mean jack nicholson was much older when he finally stopped really acting so you know there's hope but um you look at Paul Thomas Anderson, actor, or a director who's been around a while. This, is, this will be his eighth feature film, and he's only 47. He's younger than Denny Villeneuve. I, I, I was not actually aware that PTA was that young. But, so um, that, that means that he was, what, uh, in his 20s when he made Boogie Nights? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Boogie Nights was his, se was, his, like, se was his second movie, and that came out in 97. And then it's really just a, a murderer's row after there. Magnolia in 99. Tom Cruise mm -hmm. was Oscar nominated for that. Uh, Punch Drunk Love, There Will Be Blood, obviously. Dan Day Lewis was excellent in that. Yep. The Master, the 2014 Inherent Vice. And Inherent Vice was actually his lowest Rotten Tomatoes score for any of his movies, and it was only a 74. So hmm. if that's your lowest uh, direct, you know, rated film, you're doing pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, he's a he's a awesome filmmaker. A quick side note. Uh, fuck Mark Wahlberg real quick for saying that he hopes God forgives him for Boogie Nights. God will praise you for Boogie Nights because that's probably the only like really, really good film. I mean, yeah. he's, he was in The Departed, but he wasn't a lead role in it. He was, a, uh, he was very good in it. He was awesome. In it, but... If he has to ask for forgiveness for anything, he should ask for forgiveness for Transformers 4 and 5. Yes, absolutely. You know? <laughs> uh, also, oh, Daddy's he... Home 1 and 2, you know? Oh, my God. He was also in Lone Survivor, which is a pretty good film, I'll say. Uh, yeah, sure. But, Peter Berg, though, you know, yeah. different. The Berg. Um, but yeah, anyways, moving back to the Phantom Thread. So yeah, the trailer premiered, what, two weeks ago now? Last week, like a week ago. Like last okay. Monday. Yeah. Last Monday. And uh, what, what were your thoughts around it? Wasn't what I expected. No, it seems it's more of a, definitely like a character drama, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you, and they don't, they, they seem to be hiding a lot of the, uh, you know, like money scenes. You, you expect Andy yeah. Lewis to, have a great monologue or some, you know, great example of acting. I mean, uh, obviously he's obviously done that, but there will be blood. There will be, there's a million quotes from that. Uh, I drink, yep. drink your milkshake, et cetera. Um, and even Lincoln, you know, Lincoln had these great moments and you don't really see any of that in the trailer. And, you know, even the plot, we're not, I mean, he's, he's a dressmaker, but it's about his relationship with his woman. So mm -hmm. we don't really know too much to keep the cards close to the vest. Um, I'd imagine this is probably the only trailer since it's the first one and it dropped two months before the movie comes out. Right. It comes out on Christmas. So, you know, I, I'm intrigued just because of the talent involved. But yeah, I mean, as far as what's going on and whether I'm going to actually dig it or not, I mean, who knows? Yeah, Paul Thomas Anderson is also known for uh, putting... Uh, scenes in his trailers that don't actually make it into the film to be misleading so that it could be portrayed one way because right now i guess the way I, I'm, I'm understanding the movie is he's like this very controlling mm -hmm. jealous man who is brings this girl basically from nothing and then feels like he owns her in some way and dealing with that but it, it could be totally different by the time 
we get to the movie theater, just this is what Paul Thomas Anderson thinks people will want to see. So he puts in a trailer and then you go and you don't even see half that shit. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, either way, I mean, I think me and you are going to see it, but yeah. it'll be interesting to see if uh, this being uh, Daniel Day-Lewis' last movie has any effect on the, you know, the people going to watch this. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, it'll be competing with Star Wars will be mm -hmm. in its in its not even second. its second week at that time. Right. It comes out on what the 18th or the 20th, yep. something like that. Um, Pitch Perfect 3. Uh, there's, a few, there's a few other. Oh, The Post with Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. That should be an Oscar contender. So it's going to have a lot of competition. So yeah, it remains to be seen if anyone really goes to see it besides us, you know, movie junkies that we're going to see as soon as we heard about it. Do you think... Uh... I mean, based off not seeing the movie, but knowing what's about, kind of seeing some of the trailer, do you think that uh, DDD is going to get a, or DDL is going to get a Oscar nom for this? Just Probably. like a legacy? I mean, yeah, I mean, let's look. He's been nominated. He's won three times, and he's also nominated for Gangs of New York. Um, right. The last time he wasn't nominated was the movie Nine, which came out in 2009. Uh, he even got a Golden Globe nomination for that, so... Yeah, I mean, if I had the bet, I'd bet that he gets nominated. Whether he wins or not, you know, maybe wouldn't bet on that until I see the film. But yeah, I think he gets one. I mean, if Meryl Streep can get like 30 of them, I think DDL can get his, you know, seventh or whatever it is. 